seed and without their best hitter for an extended amount of time. That's a fair ball between the third baseman, Cranford, and the bag, and Evan Keller. Takes on Matt Riser's kind of toughness. Last, last time he'll face off uh, potentially against his dad, particularly here in Baton Rouge. Last time LSU and Ole Miss, County Coliseum back in 1989, dropped the Mark McGuire foul ball. Collier cuts in front of Thompson and makes a nice play as he went a long way in several weeks. And he hits this pitch on a line deep to left field. You can look up, you can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Gavin Dugas rips a rising liner into the left field bleachers and the Tigers on one swing have a one nothing lead. Boy, that's a big home run. 2-2 pitch, dribbled to the right side. Short hop scoop is made by Rosevier over to fun lead, one nothing. Cruz hits a comebacker, it's smothered by Duga. And Faulkner is waiting for the toss, there are two. Morgan goes the other way with the ground ball and he finds left field. So Trey Morgan against somewhat of a shift. Ground ball left side. What a play by the shortstop to keep it from rolling into the outfield. Evan Keller. Jobert likes the first pitch. He drives it into right center field. But Garcia is able to catch up with it. This is lifted behind second base. Doty is shading his eyes with the glove. And this ball is hit a long way to left field, way, way back. Christian Garcia smacks one out of sight, and we've got a brand new ball game. That's his fourth home run of the year, and there was little doubt that that would leave the yard in a hurry. Yeah, that. That's hit right back off of Dutton. It rolls over second base. Thompson grabs it and guns him out. This is chopped slowly to the left side. Collier Cranford gloves it, transfers, and fires. And Tristan Welch, second inning for Southeastern. And so he has been in Fuego ever since. He smacks that hanging curveball into left field. A two hopper is grabbed by Tristan Welch out there, and McManus. Cranford showed bunt, but swings and pops this one up. The infield fly rule will be in effect. Turf over there is thanks to him. Dugas draws a base on balls. And he rams a liner into right. It's going to carry out to Garcia, the runner at third tags, and the throw is overshot. The runners will advance on that overthrow. A sacrifice fly by Pearson. LSU leads it two to one with Thompson. Here's the make it happen pitch at two two. And it's a call third strike on a fish hook curveball. And Collins. Finky is off with the pitch. The throw is to the third base side and Finky swipes his 22nd sack of the season. Finky is on his way. The peg to third is a good one, but it's late. And Finky has swiped second. And he has. Collins is thinking strikeout. And he gets it. It'll have to be a play at first, and there is. Another breaking ball. Left side. Thompson charges. Transfers and fires out at first base. Four-team regional type tournament in that first round. And Thompson, you know, this this weekend when they play down in Thibodeau. Tyler McManus draws a base on ball, so he's hit by a pitch. LSU is up to 93 now. The 2-2 is laced into left field. That will produce at least one run. Here comes the second Tiger from second base. The throw is cut off. 
Dugas drives in his second and third RBI of this game and the tight. But he has not retired a batter here in the fourth and he hits Pearson. So the bases are loaded. Cruz tops this one slowly to third and is thrown out by Shea Thomas an RBI during the college game. That might find center field. It does off the bat of Trey Morgan. Two more Tigers score and LSU is extending its lead. Yes it is. It's Doty collects his second base hit. Uh, LSU needs that. They need after a tremendously hot start. That is a smash in fair territory down the first base line. Here come two more Tigers and Joe Bear stops at second base. A ringing double over the bag and the Tigers. He hits it on a hop. The shortstop makes a fine play. They've got the runner hung up momentarily out Ooh. on a close play at second base. I thought he got back. And in time. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes he I did. I think he did. First and second. The runners are moving a liner over the shortstop's head. It will roll into left center field. Braden Jobert scores from second base. Thinning. There's an out at second. And an out, no, safe at first. Fourth inning. He lifts a fly ball to center field. There's plenty of room for Finky, and it comes out of the darkness for the third out. Good curveball. Very good. Two made, though, huh? I, I, it was very convincing. I'm just not sold you. Oh, nice piece of hitting. Off balance, went down and got it on the changeup. Cruz is on the run. Can he get there? At the wall, looks up. Goodbye. Evan Keller with some power tonight at the top of the order. He doubled in the first and he hits one deep over the left center field wall for home run number seven on Thursday. So it wasn't an ideal spot to put it and he decided just not to not play it. Very well done on, e on SEC Network Plus. There's Jordan Thompson's first base hit. There's That's another. a fair ball. McManus is three for three. He drives in another run and will stop at second base with a double. A second inning single. Played various positions throughout his time in Baton Rouge. The out is recorded at first base. Right here. He didn't get a chance to swing. That was well out of the zone. That's ball four. Group. A looper to center. And it's back, 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 carrying off the center fielder's glove, apparently. Three run score. Finky. This is collegiate league and have a Iron Man night. The effort, you know, you put on every pitch where you throw it as hard as you can, it's different than if you're a starter. In the last 19 games, he's been lights out. 17 innings pitched since April 5th. 21 strikeouts, three walks. Mercy rule. Well, we are being told, and obviously there is evidence on the field that uh, this game is over. Uh, both.